Hi everyone and welcome back to Fully Playable Games. So on today's video we are going to be heading out into Maidstone but it is going to be a bit of a special game hunt for me because um, the money for today's game hunt is actually going to be coming from my first YouTube payout. So this is a massive, massive thank you to all of you for all of the support that you've given me on the channel um, and actually allowed me to get to the point where the channel gets monetized. So yeah, I think at the moment my first payout was uh, £67, so we've got that to spend. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go around uh, all the charity shops um, and uh, cash converters, and then I might see if I can pop into game as well. Um, but then what we'll do is we'll end the, the video in CEX, and what I've actually got as well is I've got a whole stack of games that I'm going to be trading in. Um, I've looked them up on the app and uh, there was about £85 worth here so that's going to top up what we're going to have to spend in CEX so we've got it's predominantly Mario games actually we've got Mario uh, Smash Brothers Brawl a um, couple of Mario Galaxies Mario Galaxy 2 a couple of Mario Brothers Wii uh, Mario Party 9 uh, Paper Mario Lego City Undercover on the Wii U and Metro Redux and um, basically they're all doubles so yeah we'll take them in get them chopped in and yeah we'll have a bit more extra to spend so i am uh, going to head off into town now i'm literally waiting for the wife to put in some of my resale packages and yeah we'll go and see what we can find So I've just struck out with two of the charity shops. One is permanently closed, one is closed on the Wednesday. And then uh, we went into, I believe it was Sue Ryder, where uh, they had a couple of games, but it was really not a great selection. What I've done is I've gone to CEX, got my voucher done. So we've got £73.20 to add to today's budget. And yeah, they didn't take one of the games. They, uh, one of the Mario Brothers Wii's, a bit too scratch for them not a problem i'll put it in my disc cleaner when i get home i thought i'd done it before i left but i'll do it again when i get home and yeah so on to the next one So after a less than successful trip to the charity shops, we finally make it to CEX. And before we get into the actually looking at CEX, I do want to say I'm going to do a voiceover for this part purely because uh, CEX, um, Maidstone, or the Maidstone branch especially, play music. And yeah, don't want to annoy the YouTube gods. So yeah, instead we'll do a voiceover. So looking in the window, there was a really nice selection of retro games there. And I do end up looking at one a bit closer late, um, later on, um, but end up leaving it. I'll go into that in a bit more detail in the pickups part of the video. But once I go into the shop, I always head straight for the retro cabinet. And I have to admit, the way that the cabinet is today really impressed me. So we've got a whole ton of Nintendo cardboard. We've got eight games there. Um, I didn't see whether they had manuals or anything like that. But just up top there as well, um moving about a bit but you've got bubsy on the atari jaguar i think that's the first time i've ever seen a jaguar game uh, in cex 
it's priced up at 60 quid, so it's a bit more than uh, I want to spend on it today. But, yeah, it may be something I'll pick up in the future. And then, yeah, just sort of starting to sort of scan through some of the other cabinets before I head over to the new additions. So, this is a section of the shop where the staff will put recently traded in uh, games and DVDs and everything like that. And as I'm looking through, I find this copy of The Witcher 3. Now, we've already got The Witcher 3 on the Xbox One. But this one is the Game of the Year edition. And from what I'm aware, the Game of the Year edition has all of the DLC on the disc. So that was the reason for picking it up. I was trying to be quite strict on what I was picking up. Uh, and not to pick up variants of games that we've already got in the collection. Um, so because this is the Game of the Year edition, that's why I sort of relaxed that bit. But what I'm also doing is, as I'm going through, I am picking up, just picking up everything that I've got an interest in. And then before I go to the counter towards the end, um, I'll sort through and make a final decision on what I want to pick up. Um, and then those are the ones we'll see in the pickups part of the video. Then next up, I wanted to have a look through both the Wii U and the GameCube section. Uh, because obviously they are two consoles that are very high up my list at the moment. Uh, they are ones that I am hoping sometime to be able to say that I've got a full uh, full power set. Um, but yeah, quite, quite a way off on both of them at the moment. And then as I'm looking through, I actually see Star Fox Adventures. Now, um, I do end up taking it with me, but when I get to the till, I ask, they don't have the manual for it. Uh, so, yeah, I end up leaving it because that is one of the big rules for today. If I do pick up something that's meant to have a manual, uh, I want to make sure that I've got the manual for it. Um, and then looking through the Wii U games, there was a couple of interesting ones. Um, well, actually, there's quite a few there we've already got in the collection, but I saw the... Um, I think it's Wind Waker HD. And then after that, I end up, I go through and have a look through the Xbox section. And then when I reach the Switch section, I see this copy of Bayonetta. And initially, I thought that it was the first Bayonetta. Uh, because at the moment, I've got the second and third uh, Bayonetta games uh, physically on the Switch. Um, so I want to try and get the first one so that I've got all three. Um, on the Switch. But yeah, it was only Bayonetta 3 that they had up there. And then as I'm looking through the Switch games, I wanted to pick something up for the Switch um, because it's not a console that I pick up for too often, um, especially not secondhand. I do get quite a few new games for it, um, but not really. Uh, I don't really see them a lot at the boot fairs. And yeah, I could have gone for one of the missing Pokemon games, but um, they're all around the sort of £40 mark. And I will admit there was a game that I was that was behind the counter that I wanted to pick up. I did end up picking it up, but once I got it home, realised that oh, I already had it in the collection. So yeah, I had to come back the following day to bring it back. Um, but I'll explain all that in the pickups part of the video. And then what I've noticed is, is the PS5 section in the shop has actually grown. Uh, I think last time I was in there was only about two racks, whereas now it's expanded out to four. And then before I wrap up, I wanted to pop up and have a look in the upstairs section. So they've done a real big switch up in the store, whereas all film, TV and music was up here. That was DVDs, Blu-rays, um, music CDs, everything was up here. Now what they've done is they've actually moved all of the Blu-rays uh, downstairs into the middle section. So they've really condensed down the games in the store. Um, there is a fraction of the games that they used to have. The whole downstairs used to be dedicated to games. But what I found concerning is, as I was walking up here, I saw that these racks were sort of positioned here. And when I looked over, I saw that literally a quarter of the floor was sealed off, not being used. So I was actually quite concerned. Like, are they sort of scaling back the store? As I say, they were scaling back. They've definitely scaled back the amount of games that they have in there. Um, and the fact that they're using less space up here um, yeah, I was a bit like, are they looking to maybe kibosh this store? And uh, I don't, I really don't know. But um, I, I wasn't able to get any answers to it. But yeah, that was uh, a bit concerning to me, seeing that whole section sealed off. 
And then just before I leave, I just have another rummage through the PS4 section. And one of the games that catches my eye as I'm looking through, and I'm going to grab it in a second, is going to be Deadpool. So we actually picked this up from the boot fair last year. And when I picked it up, um, it was priced at £30 at CEX. But when I was in here to, uh, on this day, uh, it's actually, it's actually gone up to £50 now. So that is a massive increase. So it is now a couple of days later, and I haven't had a chance to uh, go through any of the games that we picked up. Uh, to be honest, I have actually been out with the family for the last couple of days. Um, so uh, yeah, just not had the chance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to capture the gameplay uh, after filming this part of the video. But yeah, I just wanted to get in, uh, get this filmed, and yeah, start to look to get them added into the collection. So, yeah, it was a bit of an interesting day. Obviously, it's the first time that I've actually been around the charity shops in probably about 18 months. Uh, and I have to say, it was atrocious. Uh, so, yeah, we had a couple of stores, well, a couple of shops that we went to. Um, they had a couple of copies of FIFA. There was nothing. But I'd say the vast majority of the shops that we went to had no games at all. Um, yeah... I think the only one that remotely caught my interest was uh, there was a, a brand new one that had just sort of popped up and I looked in there they had like a basket full of games there was a fair few in there uh, and then I think there was a, another one of the shops that we visited before uh, we used to visit them quite often they had a, a fairly good section of games but it was all FIFAs and everything like that all the sort of common they had a load of PS3 games but they were all just common ones um, and I will admit, they did have a basket full of uh, demo discs out the front, but they wanted between one fifty and two pounds each. And I mean, had they been a bit cheaper, I would have just literally taken them all. But yeah, because they were uh, for me, two pounds for a demo disc is quite a lot. Um, normally, I spend like fifty p to a pound on them. So yeah, I might pop back. I might. What I might do is I might get a list of all the ones that I've got. Uh, go back, see which ones I've got that I haven't already, um, and then yeah, uh, see what I can get. But let's dive straight into what we've got. So um, just to give you a update on the figures. So to start off with, we had uh, sixty-seven pounds and thirty-seven p. Uh, that is what I got paid out from YouTube. Uh, I think that was. The end of February I got that paid out uh, so yeah I've just not had a chance to get out and film this video um, then I took in a whole stack of games uh, I think out of all of the games they only rejected one of them which was one of the new Super Mario Bros uh, and to be honest all that needs is just running through my disc cleaner um, and then that'll be good to go as well so we got £73.20 p uh, in vouchers from CEX so that left us with a total of £140.57 and p for today. And yeah, we've done pretty well out of that, I think. So, diving, uh, we'll start off with the charity shop finds. And uh, first off, we've got the trip to the new charity shop. And this isn't a game, um, but it is something that I saw and I just had to pick it up. And that was the Pink Panther cartoon collection. So this contains all 124 original 60s and 70s cartoons. Yeah, I remember watching these when I was younger. So yeah, I saw it there. I thought, yeah, it's on DVD. And yeah, it was a good pickup. Uh, paid 50p for it. Goes for £8 at CEX and 6 50 on eBay. Then we went into the only other charity shop pickup that we got was a PC game. And this was Legoland on the PC. Now, the whole idea of this is, is that you basically create your own Lego-themed theme park. And, yeah, I, I saw it. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't have the, the actual box. But it's got the game. It's got all the manuals, all the paperwork. Um, and it was £2. So, yeah, I thought that was a an easy win to pick up. Uh, looking it up online... Um, it was a pound at CEX, but that is the DVD case version. And then that version goes for about seven pounds on eBay. 
then the next one. So this one, um, so we're, we're now going into the CEX pickups. Um, and this next one was a bit problematic because I saw it in the window. It is a game that I've been wanting for absolutely ages, but just, just never pulled the trigger on it. Um, and that is Resident Evil Code Veronica on the Dreamcast. So um, I don't actually have it in hand at the moment, and I'll explain why. Uh, so as I say, when I was looking, I was looking in the CEX window, and I saw it there. It was priced up at twenty-five pounds, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to add that in. Uh, I've been wanting it for so long um, that I'm just going to grab it. So I went round, sort of looked all the game, picked up all the games that I was picking up, and uh, then got to the uh, the counter. Said that I also have the uh, Resident Evil was in the window. Um, he brought it back. He was like, "Oh, this is the old uh, label on it," and I'm like, "Okay, uh, I'm not worried what label it's got on it. I just want the game." And then, <clears throat> so he was like, so he was saying something about having a sort of discount and everything like that. And I'm just like, "Yeah, okay." <laughs> uh, at this point, I just didn't have a. I wasn't really following what he was saying. Um, then he, he went off for a minute. Come back. And then said that uh, um, basically it's not a problem. He can do it. He's got the new label, but it's going to be thirty pounds instead of twenty-five. And I'm like, that, that's a bit of a bit of a jip, really. You've got it priced up at twenty-five pounds. Not my fault that it's the old label, and now you want to increase the price. So I was like, okay, give me a minute. Let me look it up on eBay. Looked it up on eBay, and it's going for between twenty-two and twenty-five pounds with the manual. And I'm like, no, it's fine. I can get it for 25 quid with the manual on eBay. I was hoping, really, that he would just said, I'll tell you what, let me speak and we'll get a discount. We'll, we'll match that £25. But no, uh, they, they've stayed at the £30. So what I've done was, as soon as I left the store, I ordered it on eBay. Um, and yeah, it is. it should be here within the next couple of days. So by the time you see this video, um, I'll have all the footage and that up of it. But, uh, yeah, I just don't have it in hand at the moment. Um, and, yeah, I, I just thought I thought that was really bad, actually. Um, you've got a game there. Just because you haven't got round to pricing it up correctly um, shouldn't mean that I've then got to all of a sudden pay extra. Uh, I think as well, at that point as well, I was getting very near my budget. And I think £30 would have put me over. So, yeah, I, I, was, I, was, bit, I was really annoyed with that. Um, especially with what I was actually spending there. Uh, but, hey-ho, it is what it is. So, yeah, I have got a copy of Code Veronica um, Complete Inbox uh, coming on the Dreamcast, which is one that I've wanted for a while. Um, that was the, the the first... I remember playing that on my friend's Dreamcast uh, back in the day. Absolutely loving it. And, yeah, just looking forward to finally actually getting hold of it now and playing it on my Dreamcast. But let's dive into the games that we did pick up. Uh, right, I'm going to reorder these a bit because um, I'll explain a bit why in a minute. Uh, ba -ba Give me two seconds. <laughs> I'll be right with you. <laughs> okay, right. So the reason that I said that, the reason why I've just reordered them a bit um, is because actually uh, I ended up having to do two trips and the reason for that is is because I picked up two games that were that I already had in the collection didn't realize uh, because I'll be honest I didn't even look at my app uh, to see what I had before I purchased anything so yeah I've got two separate ones so what I do is the first load that we're going to look at are the ones that I actually picked up on the day with uh, with the filming so the first one that we've got is one I've actually been after for a while it's a VR game and that is Farpoint so, yeah, obviously we got the Move Controller a little while ago. And this was one of the games that I knew worked with the, um, not the Move Controller, the, what's it called? Aim Controller, that was it. Um, so I knew this worked with the Aim Controller, but I've just never been in a position to pick it up. Um, but I wanted to get it to, to use it with the Aim Controller. So I saw it there and I just thought, you know what, I'm going to grab it, pick it up and um, then I can at least use it with the, the aim controller. So paid uh, £3 for that. Um, looking it up online, it goes for about £6 on eBay. So yeah, really happy to finally have that one in the collection. 
Then carrying on with the PS4, uh, we've got a copy of The Witcher Wild Hunt. This is the Game of the Year edition. Now, the reason I picked this up, I will, what I will also add in, when I was at CEX, I was saying to myself, sort of, one of the, the main rule is I don't want to be picking up uh, doubles. Um, I want, not, not doubles, um, I don't want to be, I can't remember what I said, but I know I broke it completely, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I picked up Witcher, uh, the reason that I got this was obviously because this was the Game of the Year edition, um, it had all of the DLC in, um, and we have already got it on the Xbox One, uh, so I picked up the PS4 version. Um, and that sort of skirted around my uh, my rule for not picking up a game that we already had because obviously being the game of the year edition it's got all of the DLC on the disc uh, so that's why I picked that one up uh, that one goes for £8 uh, both CEX and eBay right so this next one is a game that I already have um, originally I bought it digitally on the PS4 but I have been really wanting to pick it up physically uh, because it is a it is a superb game. It really is. I absolutely love this game, and that is Detroit Become Human. Uh, yeah, just a superb game. I remember seeing the uh, the tech demo that Quantic Dream put out for this, um, and I think it was called Cora, um, and essentially it is based on. Um, I can't remember. I think it might be. I think the character's name might be Cora in um, in this, but it was superb. And it was orig originally the tech demo was done on the PS3, um, and yeah, that immediately got me engaged. I was like, "What game is this? What game is it for?" And then yeah, once we saw, once I saw the previews drop for this, you, I immediately linked them both together. Um, and yeah, it is a superb game. I truly love this game. Um, I've only ever played through it once, um, and I can't remember what ending I got. I think I might have got the... not. Uh, it wasn't the great ending I got. Uh, so yeah, definitely one that I want to go back to and play again. Um, but yeah, really glad to finally have a physical copy of this. Um, and yeah, looking forward to giving it another go. Uh, so that one, we paid £12 for that. And it goes for both uh, £12 at both CEX and eBay. Then, next up, we got a Xbox One game. And this was one of the first games that was a double. Um, I didn't realise that it was a double at the time. So, yeah, that has now gone back, um, as well as the other double. But that was State of Decay 2. So, I had the first State of Decay on my wish list. Um, and... Yeah, I was like, well, if I haven't got the first one, I probably haven't got the second one. So, yeah, I just grabbed it. But, yeah, when I got home, I was scanning all the games into my app, and then this come up as a duplicate. So, yeah, um, it was only four quid, but I ended up taking it back because, obviously, I had to take the other game back, which was um, a heavy hitter. Um, but, yeah, as I say, I didn't realise I already had it. Um, because what I did say, actually, is one of the things I wanted to do was I wanted to pick up at least one heavy hitter. But, yeah, that didn't work out. But, yeah, we did get State of Decay, but that went back. Um, so, and I'll explain what I've done with the credit uh, for that in a minute. Uh, then, next up, the other game. All right, so this is the other double that we got. Um, and it was, I'm going to turn right around... And it was The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker Limited Edition, uh, which includes the uh, the two-game bonus disc. Um, yeah, I, I saw it there. They had it priced up at £50. Um, and actually, looking at it, the copy that I've got here is more complete than the one that they had there. Uh, the one that they had was literally just the manual, whereas uh, the one that I've already got has got all of the inserts that go in. Uh, so, yeah... Part of me was actually quite glad that I already had it. Um, so yeah, what I ended up doing was taking both this and State of Decay 2 back. Um, basically got a, another voucher for £54. Um, and then we'll go through in a minute the, the other games that I picked up. Uh, and then the final game that I picked up on the, the day that I was filming was actually another Zelda game. 
and that is Legend of Zelda uh, Wind Waker HD. So yeah, potentially I was going to end up with two copies of Wind Waker, uh, both on different platforms and technically both different games the way I look at it. Um, but it was a Wii U game and that was what really drove me to pick this up. Um, I wanted to try and sort of pick up some games. Uh, as I say, originally I picked up a GameCube game uh, and then picked up a Wii U game. But obviously the GameCube game didn't pan out. Uh, so yeah, really chuffed to finally have this in the collection. I think that now means that I've got the... Uh, I think there's only two Zelda games on the Wii U and I've now got them both. So really happy with that. Uh, that one we paid £32 for it. And it normally goes for about £40 on eBay. So yeah, happy with that one. Then, as I said, I went back. Um, I still had a couple of quid left over. I think I had like six pound or something left over. Um, so that was going to carry on over to the next video. But because I ended up going back, uh, I think the, the wife had to go and uh, pop and pick some shopping up quickly. So what I said to her is, is that's fine. Drop me off before you go shopping. I'll go in, uh, have sort of do the exchange, have a uh, look at some new games. And yeah, just come and pick me up. So yeah, I had about half an hour or so where I was sort of wandering around the store having a look. Uh, this time what I did was I was actually wandering around with my app open. So I could, if I saw a game, I could just literally look it up. Uh, so the first one that we got is a PS2 game. And I saw this one, the, I saw this one there uh, the other day when we were in there. But yeah, just wasn't sure about picking it up. But because I had the, the extra credit now, I thought, Do you know what, I'm gonna give it a go. And that is Metal Slug 3 on the PS2. So I will say all of the games that we've got um, are complete. Uh, so whether it's the first day or the second day, um, I've gone for games that are complete. Um, there was a couple that I was looking at, but I didn't have the manual, so I ended up just leaving them. Uh, so yeah, I was heavily looking at uh, complete games only. So yeah, paid £12 for this. Um, I'll be honest, I've never played any of the Metal Slug games. So I think that was another reason why I wanted to pick this one up. Um, and yeah, really glad to have it in the collection. It's actually in really good condition. So yeah, quite chuffed with that. Uh, this one, as I say, paid £12 for it. Goes for about £18 on eBay in complete condition. Then next up, we've got Dead Space 2 on the PS3. Now, I have already got Death Space 2 on the original Xbox. Now, I think this one is the main one that sort of broke my rule. Uh, the reason why I got this uh, is, at the moment, I think we've got Dead Space 2 on the PS3, but it's a Platinum Edition, um, and I really, really wanted the Black Label. So now I've got Black Label for um, Dead Space 1, 2, and 3. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's the reason for grabbing this. Uh, once again, it's in really good condition. I only paid £4 for it. Um, and it goes for normally goes for about ten pounds on eBay, so yeah, really happy with that, and actually really happy now to have the complete Dead Space uh, trilogy on uh, one of the platforms. Then next up, we are going to move back on to the Xbox One, and the first one that we've actually got two games. The first one that we've got is actually a special edition with a steel book. And that is Batman Arkham Knight Special Edition. Now, uh, when I actually looked uh, on my app when I was in the store, um, I didn't actually have Arkham Knight at all on the Xbox One. Um, I think I've got, I think I've got it on the PS4. Uh, just trying to see, I can't see. Yeah, I have. I can see Batman there. Um, but yeah, didn't have it on the Xbox One. Uh, but to be quite honest, it was the Steel Book that really sold it for me. Um, and that was what sort of drew me to pick it up. So yeah, paid five pounds for that one. Uh, looking it up online, uh, where are we? Uh, the Steelbook normally goes, the, the special edition normally goes for about 17 pounds on eBay. So yeah, really, really cheap at CEX. So that's a good one. And then this next one, another Xbox One game. Uh, this was one that I did see uh, in my original trip out. And I think I actually had it in uh, in the pile when I was walking around. But sort of towards the end, I think I decided to put it back uh, because I was going to get um, Zelda and uh, Resident Evil. So I thought, you know what, I'll put this one back for now. But yeah, on the second visit, I did pick it up. 
and that is Street Fighter, the 30th anniversary collection. So this is a compilation uh, of pretty much all the games from Street Fighter, the original Street Fighter, right the way through to Street Fighter Third Strike. So we've got what one, so we've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve games on disc, um, and yeah, just for absolutely amazing. So I definitely wasn't going to leave it a second time, and yeah, just really glad to have this. I absolutely loved playing Street Fighter Two back in the day. So to have it on one of the modern consoles that I can sort of plug it in whenever I feel like. Uh, really looking forward to playing this. Uh, that one we paid ten pounds for that. Look it up online, it goes for about £20 on eBay. So yeah, definitely a good pick up there. Then next up we've got a 3DS game. So whenever I can pick up 3DS games, I do tend to pick them up. And yeah, the reason that I grabbed this, I think they had a couple of copies of this there. Um, but it just looked in such good condition. And I have to say the pretty pictures drew me in. <laughs> and that is Yoshi's New Island. So, yeah, this is obviously a... I think this is a remake of the original Yoshi's Island. Um, so, yeah, just another one that I'm looking forward to actually playing that. Um, I think... I think we've got the original Yoshi's Island. Uh, yes, I think I have. I've got it on the N64. Um, but I've played the Japanese version. I don't think I've ever played the English version. So, yeah, looking forward to seeing what this is like. So paid £10 for that. Looking it up online, it goes for about £12 on eBay. And then the final game that we got was another Wii U game. And that is New Super Mario Bros. Uh, Super Mario Bros. U and Luigi and Super Luigi U. Uh, so we have actually got um, the Super Mario U disc. Um, this doesn't have the Super... Uh, Luigi U on it um, but I saw this there um, obviously didn't have that one in the case uh, I'm still looking to get the, a case and cover for it uh, but yeah saw that there do you know what I thought for £8 I'm going to grab that um, and then once again it was another Wii U game to tick off the list uh, so as you can see we paid £8 for that looking it up online it goes for £12 on eBay and that was everything that we picked up. So, um, in total, we spent £128.45. Um, so, out of the money that we started with, we've got £11.55 left over. Uh, £5 of that is a, um, a voucher that we had left over from our second visit. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll that over to the next video, which will hopefully be towards the beginning of May, because uh, yeah, because of all of you, my videos have been doing really, really well recently, and I'm actually looking at getting another payout from YouTube at the end of this month. So yeah, I'm going to probably carry on these, um, and yeah, we. I don't know whether I'm going to do see. I don't know if I'm going to do Maidstone again. Um, I might actually go to somewhere else. Um, I might actually look to go somewhere completely new. Um, but what I have noticed is that a lot of the games that I've got on my CEX wish list um, are not available in any of my local CEXs, um, but they are available in some further afield. So who knows? I might go for a day out with Nicky to one of uh, his local towns uh, and we'll try the, the charity shops and the CEX near him. Uh, but yeah, we will wait and see with that one. Uh, so, if we'd got everything from CEX, um, to be quite honest, uh, that is obviously Resident Evil, Legoland, and Pink Panther added in, we would have spent a total of £143. And if we'd got everything from eBay, it would have been £194. So I think we've done really, really well with what we picked up and where we picked it up from. And yeah, I am really looking forward to getting in um, and actually capturing the gameplay for these videos. Uh, sorry, these games. Um, so yeah, hopefully uh, by the time you see the video, I'll have done all the gameplay and we'll be good to go. So with that said, that is going to wrap up today's video. But before you head off, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're not already, smash that subscribe button and ring the bell to be kept up to date when I upload new videos. And yeah, with that said, thank you so, so much for watching today. Really hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one. All right, bye.